Okay, so you're wanting to back your horse up. And maybe this is something you think you know how to do properly. However, I'm going to challenge you a little bit to do it a couple different ways. <laughs> Here's the first way you can back a horse up. We've seen a lot of people do it that way. Good boy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a challenge when you practice this. How nice would it be to have a horse that backs up straight, soft, and willingly without you pulling on their head? I'm going to show you how I do that. This is my Mustang, King of Hearts. He was my 2013 Mustang Million horse that I used for the competition. This horse has taught me so much. And one of the things he taught me was this. So I wanted to be able to communicate to him without a bridle and ask his body to do specific things without having to pull on his face. And so what I started to teach him early on in his training was, is that when my feet come in front of the cinch, I want him to step back. So when I'm first teaching it, this is what I do to teach it. I will raise my arms up and I will ask him by bumping my feet in front of the cinch. Not here, not back here, not back here, in front of the cinch, right there. Good. So I don't want to have to pull on him to back him. Now, I can control him through my feet, so when I, my legs go back, I ask him to go forward. Here's his one of his stops, feet forward, back up. Just like that. So, a lot of riders rely on their hands for all of their instruction and everything that they do. And it's their insecurity and fear is why they hang on to the horse so much through their hands. So challenge yourself to start to back up simply by taking your feet out of your stirrups, just like this, get comfortable doing this. Lift your reins up, put a rein in each hand. I'm gonna hold my thumbs up just like this. I can gather my reins and also release. Did you see how I did that? Gather, release. Now see, he saw me do that and immediately he backed away. So. You want a horse that's willing to work with you, that's responsive and tries. If you don't have one of those horses, there's lots of horses out there. You can change, <laughs> you can change. Now, so watch, I'm gonna lift my hands up. I'm gonna gather my reins. I'm not pulling, I'm just holding the slack. Then I just say, please don't stand there. Good. If he does it in one good step, I release. Back, thank you, good, right there. So I want him to know, yes, I'm communicating to you, but I don't want to have to pull on you. The only time I pull on him is if he completely blows me off and misses it. Then I will collect the slack and then ask the shoulders to still step back. Essentially what you're saying is, is hey, there's a Grand Canyon ledge right there. Stop, get away from it, back up. And I don't want to have to pull on him to do so. Now. Of course, yes, there is a way you can back your horse by pulling your reins. Let me show you how you can back your horse several different ways. Because I find a lot of riders don't spend much time backing up. And you can find out a lot about a horse simply by watching him back. So, let me back him and I'll show you a couple little trainer trip tips that will help you when you're teaching and when you're learning how to do it properly. So, let's say I want to back him up and I'm pulling. Let's say I just pull on him. If I pull just one rein, he's gonna turn as he backs. See how he's turning while he backs? So to help him, I'm going to even out my reins, ask him to back. Now, if I need his hip to step to the left, I'm gonna pull my right rein. That should move his hip to the left, okay? If I need his hip to go to the right, I pull my left rein. It's the opposite because horses are bilateral. So he needs to step back and I can pivot his body simply by my rein position. Okay, now if he's swinging to the right, I'm gonna pick up my right rein and ask him to step left. So I can steer his body simply by my reins. And by doing so, my position controls the backup. So remember, when you're backing, if you ask your horse to back up in a straight line and their hip steps to the right, Pull your same side rein. That will straighten up the hip to the left. Vice versa. If you feel the hips swinging to the left, apply your left rein and you go straight above the shoulder blade, not across their neck, just right here. And when you do that, it'll straighten out their body. Again, horses are bilateral. That means if I pull my left rein, his hip should swing right. Okay, so let me walk away and show you a backup. So stop. Let's say I want to back him straight and I feel him stepping the wrong direction.
direction, I use the same side leg and rein on this side to straighten him up. And by doing that, what happens is, is his body will level up and be straight. So challenge yourself just to simply back up straight. Good. Forward. Stop. Back. Just like that. Good. Now, in doing this and in preparation, they're not going to be perfect. So be very patient. It takes time. It takes practice. Um, and also be aware of what your equipment is telling your horse. Make sure that you have equipment that's conducive to what you're asking. Sometimes we have the wrong equipment and our equipment works against us. We don't want that. We want stuff that works in our favor. So if you have questions about that, let me know so I can help you with that. And keep practicing backing up. You'd be surprised how much it'll change your horse's life and yours.